Welcome to the Friday Fast. This week we've been reading through the Version reading plan on the Lord's Prayer. And today we're in the middle of the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6, it's verse 12. And Jesus tells us to pray this way, a prayer that frankly we often don't pray and we need to pray a lot more. He says, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. I think we would all agree right now in our world, what we need more than anything is love. Everybody's crying out for it, but the greatest expression of love is forgiveness. I think about my own marriage, Laura and I, and over the years, whenever we've gotten mad at each other and then we've gone to bed mad, you've ever done that as a, as a couple? You get over as far as you can on the edge of the bed and you're like, no, no, don't, and you get, don't touch me, no, no, and you because you just want to get away. That does not heal a relationship. What heals a relationship is when we forgive. That is why Jesus made the first move. God so loved that he sent Jesus to forgive us. And when we wound God with the ways in which we treat one another, with our actions and the ways in which we live outside of the will of God, and we don't seek his forgiveness, it breaks that relationship. But when we come to God and we seek his forgiveness, it heals that relationship. It's the greatest expression of our love back to God. He expressed his greatest love through forgiving us, and we express it back the same way. But there's a second part of that that's also pretty hard. We've got to forgive those who have wounded us, who have hurt us. That's difficult to do because we live in an eye for eye world right now. It's playing out on TV in the middle of this election. We see this, it's an eye for an eye world right now. But Jesus says, forgive your enemies. So today, man, this world needs love. We need restoration with our God and we need restoration with one another. And that begins with forgiveness.